Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Happy Halloween. I hope you're enjoying my festive G unit. Welcome Into Tomorrow, and of course, all of our followers and viewers on the internet. Welcome back to another Into Tomorrow update brought to you by Newegg.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We're gearing up to celebrate 15 years of Into Tomorrow at the big Consumer Electronics Show in January. Did you know that Into Tomorrow was born at CES way back in 1996? Festivities will start next month at their CES Unveiled Press Preview in New York. We'll be there, of course, covering the latest in tech and what's coming your way just in time for the holidays. Then the big show in January. Stay tuned. Are you feeling a little green? The good kind of green, that is? It's become an inconvenient reality to most, but technology companies are doing all they can to be green. Rob has a phone that just might surprise you in a good way. Here's Rob. Thanks, Dave. This is the Samsung Reclaim, available to Sprint customers. The first thing we heard about this phone was that it was made of corn. Well, at least 40% of the case is made from bioplastic materials extracted from corn. Of course, the packaging is made from recycled materials. Al Gore should be thrilled. It's a little cliche to have a green phone in a green color, but at least it's a nice shade of green. There's also a blue option available. The Reclaim is a cute little phone with many of the features you'd expect to have on phones these days. The controls are pretty accessible and not hard to operate. There's a shortcut menu you can customize called the carousel along the bottom of the screen, where you can have easy access to applications like Facebook or MySpace, messaging, and the web. It has a 2 megapixel camera and can record video too, which you can then send as picture mail. Being a 3G phone, the Reclaim supports Sprint Radio, where you can also listen to our Into Tomorrow shows, Sprint TV, and movies, and can access the Sprint Music Store. The TV interface is similar to that on other Sprint TV phones. This is a slider phone, so the keyboard is hidden. The keys are pretty soft to the touch when pressed. I didn't find it too hard to operate. Overall, the main focus of the Reclaim is to be eco-friendly. For the latest pricing details, be sure to visit Sprint's website. That does it for me this week. Let's send it over to Dave. Thanks, Rob. It is a cute green phone from Sprint. T-Mobile also has a green phone option for you with their Motorola Renew W233. What do you think of them? As we move forward, expect to see more. This ITTV Into Tomorrow TV update is brought to you by Newegg.com. Buy and save on electronics today. Visit Newegg.com now for jaw-dropping savings on close to 40,000 tech products. Once you know, you knew it. It's now time to go back into yesterday with Chris Graveline and his popular This Week in Tech History. Did you know back in 1999, Microsoft made headlines, but not for a good reason. Here's Chris to tell us why. This week in 1892, the first successful automatic telephone system was introduced in LaPorte, Indiana. Almon Stroger, the inventor, came up with the idea because the non-automatic system made it possible for his customers' calls to be intercepted by his competitor. In 1985, this week, Microsoft released Windows 1.01 on five five and a quarter inch floppy disks. It ran on MS-DOS 5.0, which was called MS-DOS Executive in Windows. And this week in 1999, Microsoft made headlines again when U.S. District Judge Thomas Penfield Jackson, in a finding of fact, declared Microsoft Corporation a monopoly. Jackson wrote, Microsoft enjoys so much power in the market for Intel-compatible PC operating systems that if it wished to exercise this power solely in terms of price, it could charge a price for Windows substantially above that which could be charged in a competitive market. That's a mouthful. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. Have you picked up the phone and called our Ask Dave hotline recently? Don't be left out. We'll be answering your calls this weekend on our three-hour radio program and sending you fabulous prizes just for participating. Call us right now or anytime, 24-7 at your convenience with any consumer electronics questions. 1-800-899-4686. You can also Skype us from anywhere in the world. 800-899-INTO. Thanks for joining us into tomorrow. We'll see you all next week right here.